September. So you can buy the ship in three days for the balloons or a premium shop. Tutti ai posti di combattimento. That's what I need to tell you. You're chunky, how are you doing? Welcome. But let's see how it is. Tour traverse is pretty good. Concealment. Oh, I haven't checked the concealment. The concealment is actually pretty darn bad. <clears throat> Holy shit, the concealment is so bad. I expected like 12 or 11 or something like Roma. I didn't even check it. Godvana, welcome. How are you doing? Hey ho. Does it drop in center crates? I don't think so. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. I have no I idea how it's gonna perform. Oh, look at this. I, I, I mean, I'm not an expert with Italian chips, but I think the firing angles are better. Good buddy, and you, I'm doing great. <sighs> Everything ready for Christmas. Uh, oh, by the way, speaking of Christmas, I'm not sure when. I'll need to decide in the next couple of hours, if not by tomorrow. I will do a big um, Christmas Christmas stream once more with Mrs. Tremless. I'm just not sure when to do it. If it's going to be on the 23rd or 24th, we'll see. If it's 24th, I will do it in the morning. If it's the 23rd, we'll see. What's special about it? It has sap secondaries, and that's about it. We don't know. I will see how it goes. Hey Tommy Fox, Sanchez, Sneaky, welcome. Honestly, no idea how this ship is gonna perform here. Yeah. But one thing for sure, secondaries won't be that accurate because it has just a standard dispersion. So, which is funny because that actually means it has the worst secondary dispersion in the game. Germans got buffed one, Americans is better. Yeah, and then it has the secondary dispersion of normal ships. Which usually don't even build it, those secondaries. Mm. Let's see. Gun wise, I have no idea. Besides that, it's four sixes. Okay, that was surprisingly good, actually. Mm. You can buy it in three days for the balloons only. As yes, far as I know. Yeah, look at it. Atrocious dispersion. I don't think that most of my players are paying attention. Bro, oh, that secondary dispersion is pain though. Jesus. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. Like, if, if they gave it improved secondary dispersion, I could see the point. But like this. It takes way too long to get accurate. And even then, it's super bad, as you could see. We'll see. We'll see if we can do it better. Rilasciata cortina fumogena. We got one secondary hit. Wow. I didn't, don't even know if it made any damage or not. Guns are easy to aim, but the dispersion is really questionable. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. <coughs> Come on, secondary. Just do something good now. Yay, we got a secondary hit. Moscow player really wants to die, honestly. Oh my god, that, that vertical dispersion is so bad. Did you see that? I mean, it was a good hit, but it's a broadside in Moscow after all. That vertical dispersion was so bad, Jesus. Hey, Chaos, welcome. Panzerkex, welcome. My god. This, this thing, I have, I don't know. Oh, that's a good dispersion, finally. That was honestly a good dispersion, but of course he used the blue line. Uh. 
Yes, Hart, how are you doing? Welcome. Concentrate fire on that enemy warship. What is this Moskva player doing, honestly? We even know where the Orkron is because the cap is contested. But bro, that Moskva player. Look at this. This is this is the bad thing about the ship. Look at this dispersion. Like it's it's the vertical dispersion is absolutely garbage. Reminds me of Roma a bit, which is unfortunate. That's not a good thing if it reminds me of Roma. Well, let's see. Here we go. Sap secondaries. Yeah. Honestly. <coughs> Honestly, look at this dispersion. He's six cam away, and we barely get any hits. And we have already 31% dispersion buff. Oof. Oof. Chaos machine grab subscribe. And Panzer Kex, thank you for the gifted sub to Chaos Machine. Really, really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Really appreciate it. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I guess it can work, but it's a tier 9. Like, you need to remember, we're talking about the tier 9 anti torpedo now, I guess. We're talking about the tier 9. Oh, he, he got the drop super hard. Never mind. We're talking about the tier 9, where you have absolutely insane competition. At least they can lob the secondaries over here, which is kind of nice. I can't shoot him with the main guns, so that's pretty cool. Problema risolto, signore. Well, Kagero should be able to finish him. Kagero, he is low. We can finish him. And of course, our Kagero decides to not go for him. Hoggers! <laughs> Nice, nice. Look at that Kagero player. He knows the all kind of goes like this and he goes here. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, it's probably the right term. It's probably one of those IGN captains who think they don't have main guns. Sad times. Thank you, Panzerkex. Really appreciate it. The thing is, this is a uh, fjord. This is not a good secondary ship. This is terrible. The secondaries. They're absolutely terrible. I mean, yes, if you hit them, they do kind of damage, but only against DDs mostly. Cruiser plating on this tier and most battleship plating won't be really affected. Unless the big guns hit the 150s. Oh my god, that Kagiro player, we're actually gonna lose the cap because somebody like this. No, they're 90mm and 155s, and only 155s can effectively pen cruisers and battleships from this tier. Come on, Kagiro, we can use main guns. Yes! Good job. I don't want to open up yet. Siluria dritta. Yes, this is it at all. Don't tell me, Kagiro's oh, no. Join for Brother to Gaskin now, I know. It's gonna hurt, yeah. 
Okay, Kagero won, even though he lost way too much HP. Jesus. How does the Shavelocity feel to seem good? It's Italian after all, but... <coughs> it's gonna be absolute... Like, the guns are shit, and the secondaries are shit, and it has bad concealment. I don't think it's a particularly good ship, to be honest. Hmm. And it's on tier 9. Mm -hmm. Hello, man. That gas gun again. Now, since we have to heal up, Ruprecht should be able to deal with the Aki, unless he disengage. So, no, the steel Roma is coming this week. Why steel? This thing is only gonna be for the balloons. This ship is only gonna be available for the balloons, nothing else. Or in the premium shot, of course, for Rubelt. <laughs> I don't think this game will ever get a decent Italian premium besides Paolo Emilio. Honestly. I guess they just don't, are not allowed to get a halfway decent ship. If this thing would be for steel, honestly, I would rather transfer steel to coal before buying this ship of steel. Look at this, look at this dispersion. We don't even have the range, we only have 10.5 with a full secondary build. That's also pretty sad. Sad times. Alvaro, how are you doing? Welcome. That's lava really has better dispersion on long range. Yeah, it does. Then in short range. Yay, we got a kill. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Thoughts on a new ship? It's shit. It's honestly, it's like the classic Italian premium this game. It's not good. There are so many better options on T9. Way better options. Like, if you want to make a secondary ship, at least give it something for secondaries. But the secondaries are, in are the most inaccurate secondaries in the game. Wait, like, you need to understand one thing about the ship. 
The May guns are terrible when it comes to dispersion. And you have sap secondaries. Now you would expect these secondaries, if you like if this ship is specialized or secondaries, you get some bonus traits on it. But no, you have absolute standard secondary dispersion. You don't have the improved American one, and you don't have the improved German one. You just uh, you just have the base secondary dispersion of all the other ships in the game that are not supposed to be secondary ships. And this makes it so inaccurate in it, even with the full 50% buff or whatever you can stack it up to. It's insane. We got 23 hits. And we were not only shooting EDD. Like, it's... We're second. Wow, yeah. I mean, the Ragnar carry, by the way. But we're second. But it's like... You need to remember, we're talking about tier 9. I just want to point it out, this ship is better. Yes, it's overpowered. I know it's Alaska, but still, it's better on tier 9. Ruprecht is a better secondary ship on tier 9. Zeton is on tier 8 a better secondary ship. Which ships? Musashi, we don't need to talk about Musashi. That thing's just insane. Like, yeah, it's not a good ship. Like, I hate ships that don't have working main guns. I really do. That's why I hate most Italian ships besides tier 9 and 10. Because T9 and 10 can at least comp 